Well, hey there, guys. Uh, Brian here, Texas Country Music News, and uh, welcome to Texas Country. So, I wanted to cover just a few things. Um, I, I love shooting videos for you guys, and I try to make all of my content a little bit better every time I do it. And one of the ways um, that I've struggled is with audio, and I'm not sure how well this is going to pick it up, but my audio has been uh, fairly awful as of late. Um, I'm going to put my phone down here by my computer. I don't know if you can hear that. So that that picks up a lot. I'm not going to show you inside my closet here because it's a mess, but I have a a server inside here that stores all my video and audio. Uh, it's also kind of where my network switches and everything. I live in an apartment, and I've got um, here we go. I've got windows right behind my desk there. There's a bedroom right above me. Um, there. It's hard to tell, but they're uh, 10 or 12 foot ceilings. So, I mean, I've, I've got, um, man, my room is a mess. You know, obviously I've got a foot locker on top of my copy machine. I got a copy machine in here that I use quite extensively. Um, anyways, there's just a lot of noise in here. So a while back, um, I was trying to find a way, better way to do artist interviews um, on scene in noisy areas. And so I picked up a product um, which I paid for, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you real quick. I'm gonna switch audio over to that. I'll be right back. All right. Well, before I actually switch over and uh, put those on, these this is the product I picked up, and it comes in this handy carrying case. And I I show you my hand, but you don't know how big my hand is. So I'm gonna say it's probably about seven inches, seven inches wide there. Anyways, inside of it, this is the Cinco G1 and under. I got it on Amazon, and it's the G1A2, and that's kind of a mess because I use it. it comes with two lavalier mics. Uh, it's very similar to the Rode Go system, I believe is what it's called. Anyways, it comes with um, two 2.4 gigahertz transmitters and one receiver. You can switch um, a high pass on as well. Um, you can change the frequency. You can record in stereo or mono. Um, the transmitters actually have a microphone on them, and that's with these windscreens that are right here, uh, the little dust bunny thing look at things that, that clip on here or your mic can plug in right on the side it does come with a pretty cool charger um, they're all USB-C so it comes with a, a single USB-C to a three USB-C uh, charger so let me put this on and that way you can hear the audio all right so now I should be picking up the audio through this um, this lav mic right here it comes with a little foam windscreen on it um, it is a pretty potent mic you can turn it down um, like I said, otherwise you don't have to hook up the lav mic. You can actually just, you see a lot of fitness people, they'll clip these um, like right up in here and, and they'll just wear them. But um, this was ideal uh, because they have a noise cut on them. Um, so they're a little bit noise canceling. And this helps in noisy areas. I did try it out at Globe Life Field for the American Rodeo. Um, and when they had their system way up super loud, um, it was a little too much for this, but um it did work and it did pick up my audio just fine so um, this is the Cinco g1 which um, i bought and i love and i use quite extensively now so let me show you what i what else i just picked up all right so uh before i show you the other thing i got basically uh what kind of came with this g1 a2 set and i'm freehand so i apologize if the camera's moving around or it's not a great angle i'm, I'm doing my best here and normally i have these mounted on stands and whatnot but anyways um so when i picked up this g1 a2 um lavalier set it had an option for a bundle and i clicked the bundle because it seemed like it was worth it i needed a new on top of camera microphone um and i had a boya i just wasn't happy with it um mainly because the shoe mount is really flimsy um and it kind of bounces around it, it just it's not it's not great doesn't feel like it's made very well and it chews through uh double a batteries like crazy so um anyways i'm gonna flip the camera around and i'll show you what else came with it and kind of how this all this got going so here we go 
All right, so this is the, um, I'm trying to do this through a microphone here, or through a camera. This is the Cinco uh, M1S. This came with, in like a bundle, in a separate package, but in a bundle, with um, the lavalier mic. And it came with this windsock that has a, um, it has a foam inside of it, but I haven't been brave enough to try to pull the foam out of it to just use the foam. Um, so I've tried it with this and with just without it. Um, I really do like the mount and it came with extra rubber bands uh, for that mount. And it came with this really nice kind of pleather leather bag and it came with um, coil wires, which I have uh, implemented into other kits now at this point, but it comes with coil wires and it came with um, the three banded and a two banded um, uh, cable for depending on whether or not you have like a um what your depending on what your phone or your computer or your camera has and i'm, I'm not a i'm not an audio guy so i can't i'm not going to jump into that but basically this is a non-powered uh condenser mic um there's no battery or anything in it and the audio i was getting out of it i was just not i was not happy with and i kind of felt like it was just I, i'm never going to use it it's just it was just kind of a waste of money so let me flip the uh, the camera around and I'll get back to the rest of the story here. All right, so um, wasn't happy with the M1S, and um, so I I emailed. Um, actually, I should say the the company that I bought it from on Amazon emailed me and they said, "Hey, um, would you mind re you know posting a review on Amazon about your experience with the products you got?" And I and I replied back to them and I said, "Sure, I will be more than happy to leave you a review on." Um, the lav mics because I absolutely love the lav mics and they work really well. They exceeded my expectations. Um, I was after I ordered them, I had a little bit of buyer's remorse. I was like, man, I probably should have just spent the extra forty or fifty bucks, whatever it was, to get the road ones or to get the um, whatever whatever other ones I've found on um, Amazon that were like two hundred two hundred plus. Um, these ones for a two, you know, basically two transmitter, one receiver, plus all the cabling, and then the carrying gauge came with was, I think, one forty nine, and I think I had a twenty percent off coupon. Maybe I'm not sure. Um, so, anyways, I'm, I'm more than happy to do that. But I told him, I said, I'm, I, I can't leave you a positive review on your uh, M1S. And, um, here's why, and I explained that you know the sound quality was awful. I wasn't able to pick up the sound that I wanted. I f it felt I couldn't use it on my computer because it felt like it needed power even though it said it didn't need power um and he replied back same day and this guy is in china um so that you know it's a it's a chinese built company um I, i'm all for american made but i just couldn't afford american made at the time to be honest not i not with all the other stuff that i'm putting into um this channel anyways um he uh From Amazon, um, I will provide this company, Cinco, and this gentleman in China, my order number through Amazon, and um, I will evaluate the product. Um, and if I like the product, great. Um, 
I leave a positive review and he will refund my purchase price. If I am obviously not happy with it, um, I send it back to Amazon and I get my purchase price refund. Either way, it's kind of like a paid paid partnership. Uh, but that won't, won't stop me from um, giving you my, my, my ultimate opinion. So let me, um, let me grab that microphone real quick and kind of go over it. So it's a big, big, big guy. Um, hey, found a microphone, I found a ruler here. So the case, and I'm gonna show you the case here in a second. It's 12, um, we'll call that, yeah. So this is the case it comes in. Um, it is, the case is roughly 16 inches long. I did use it at the American um, Western Weekend this past week. Um, used it in a uh, press conference and I was able to try it out um, the best I could in some other areas. Um, I don't know that all that video is gonna gonna make it, but anyways, let me show you what it, what it comes with here. Um, so, oh, dropping things on my keyboard. All right, so the case, when you open it up, it has this nice rubber handle. It's actually pretty comfortable. Um, it's got branded zippers, but the zippers are actually pretty decent quality. They're, they're um, you know, they're not, they don't feel cheap and they're branded in color. I mean, it looks nice. I had no problem um, strapping this to my camera bag to go into the, you know, the media pool um, at the American Rodeo for four days. And I was by far, um, you know, not the only <laughs> media person there. And in fact, probably one of the smallest media people that were there, but anyways, so it, this is the, this is the, the Cinco D1 mic and it, you know, it's a hyper, I don't know. I'm going to, I know I'm going to biff this, but it's a hyper cardioid, um, condenser microphone and it is XLR, but it's XLR that you can open up and instead of just having the XLR 48 volt Fanta power, it will run off of a AA battery. Um, I only use Duracell ProCell, um, constant um, batteries. They, they're harder to find, but they are well worth the money if you ever find them. And then on the side here, it does have a high pass filter. So this is a solid brass construction. It's got some, some heft and some weight to it. It comes with this windsock that has a plastic collar on the bottom and um, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I saw some reviews of like the D2. The D2 didn't have the plastic collar and um, so a lot of the reviews didn't like the, the windsock that came with it saying that there was too much material up here. Um, I, it's even material all the way around. I would put it right at about um, anywhere between a quarter to three eighths of an inch um, just by by pressing. Um, it does come all the way down. The only thing, and I don't, I'm not sure it matters, It, I'm a little bit OCD, but you can kind of see, I would rather it be like there or down here to completely cover it, but it's just kind of weird how it covers like half the switch. Anyways, um, so it's nice. And the reason I thought it would be really good is because it can be used like a microphone like this. It can also be mounted on top of uh, my camera, but what came in the kit and what didn't come in the kit. Now, um, if you, I've actually got the instruction manual here. This is a little instruction manual that comes in it. And it says what it comes with is the protection box, which you saw. Um, it comes with a mic holder um, and the mic holder does have a adapter that you can screw out it's for different mic stand sizes. Um, I believe it's three eighths and five eighths. Yeah, so three eighths is in there. So that'll screw into any three eighths. Um, you can unscrew this out. It's just like an insert. Let me screw that out real quick. Not that it's super important, but if you had the bigger um, mic stands um, that take the five eighths, it's just a, it's a brass or a copper insert and you have a full five eighths in there. Um, I wouldn't say it's the creme de la creme of quality, but it is not overly cheap. I would say it's, 
it's pretty on par with a budget um, with a budget microphone clip um, that you would get at like a tar center or something like that. Um, this one, they do give you instructions on how to put it on. Um, I noticed if you look at like the D2, Cinco D2 online, they were, the guy was like, you have to really like press it down on. And this one's not. Basically, you just slide it on the back and there you go. Um, it did say that it came with um, two cables and it does come with two cables. So it has a, um, it's about a 18, 24 inch XLR cable. Um, which I don't have anything XLR based in my home, um, not yet anyways, but it does come with a like three foot, um, XLR to, um, I believe that's TRS. It's the two band one. I believe the three band is called a TTRS. Um, so basically if you're going to use this on your, um, on your iPhone as it sits, it will not work because the iPhone takes the, the three band TT RS, I believe is what it's called. Um, and in my other kit here, like the one that I have, says it comes with a 3 8 cold shoe. It did not come with that 3 8 cold shoe, which I kind of predicted um, because um, a lot of people in the review said it didn't come with the cold shoe. So I spent like the extra $9 and I bought this kind of um, universal uh, cage. I really like the, the rubber band um, things. This one holds it nice and uh, firm and tight and basically when I have it on the camera um, it sits in there just like this and um, it did come with for nine dollars um, it did come with four extra rubber bands and it I don't know what you'd use them for but it has some screw mounts on the top anyways this is probably not gonna last for of me just talking uh, through this now this is with the, the hyper cardioid pattern which I'm gonna butcher before I switch over this is what they say the the polar pattern is and basically what I understand from that is it's basically the pattern uh, coming out from here and um, it picks up basically this with very little behind um, and so it does pick up more directly in front it does cut back on the sides and I did some tests with it you know closer and far away from behind um, and it picked up the audio but not great but I'll tell you about my experience with it and um, I'm gonna edit some footage footage into this from the press conference I went to and I did this use this one um, and we'll see what you think all right welcome back guys so I got everything switched over I'm on my uh, DSLR camera now shooting or the audio you're hearing is coming out of the Cinco D1 uh, microphone. Um, I have it running 
straight into my computer. I did have to add some filters because when I hook things up to the computer, it tends to strip the audio a little bit. Um, so there is a equalizer that I added on there. There's a noise filter and there's a compressor um, that I kind of articulated for this particular microphone and my voice. Um, I am really impressed with the audio quality of this so far. I don't know what the durability is going to be like, um, but I imagine it's going to be just like any other uh, compressor style, or excuse me, uh, condenser style microphone. And uh, being that you just kind of have to be gentle with them. They're not, they're not like a Shure SM57 or something like that where you could throw it across stage and it'd still be good. Um, these are a little bit more fragile, more sensitive microphones, which is fine, but it did work well in noisy situations um, in like a rodeo setting. Um, a lot of that video, though, that I you may or may not see, I captured just with the, the stock um, internal microphone because I didn't have this microphone set up yet. But um, I'll be out at the White Elephant tonight. I'm going to get some audio and video of... Um, Dusty Dusty Motes and um, Russell Barreto. Russell Barreto is the kind of the headliner tonight. Dusty Motes is going to be there, um, so I will bring this microphone and I will, you know, follow along and you can see what you think of the audio from that. Um, overall, I'm pretty impressed. If more than anything, I'm I'm impressed with the customer service um, from the gentleman that I've been emailing back and forth with in China. Um, and I don't say that very often. I am 100% on board with buying American, made in America, uh, small business type stuff like that. But at the same time, um, I needed some good quality microphones for this company. And I could not justify spending three, four, five, six hundred dollars um, for a microphone right now. Um, unless one of you guys wants to be one of the first investors I'm in. I'm I'm totally on board with talking to you about um, my goals for this company, and I'm open to other ideas as well. Um, but I, you know, as of right now, I'm 100% self-funded and um, trying to give you best quality audio video content uh, on a on a budget. And so, um, like I said, based off of a positive review, they are willing to. Um, refund my my purchase price for this now the purchase price for this was 149 dollars um the comparable microphones on the market um i believe one of them is the unity and the other one's the sennhauser um sennhauser you're looking at um close to a grand the unity is five six hundred bucks road you're looking at three four hundred bucks for a road um so 150 was quite reasonable um, and I'm impressed with the sound quality based off of that um, that price point alone um, I'm really impressed with the build quality of it but anyways uh, come out and see see me tonight come out and see Dusty come out and see uh, Russell it's gonna be a great time over at the White Elephant Saloon which is down there on exchange um, basically if you're coming up Main Street from downtown take a ride on exchange um, you're going to have to drive way past White Elephant to get down to the parking lots. Or you can make a left, and there's some street parking up there on the left and right um, as you get closer up by Filthy McNasty's and um, some of the other businesses that are up that way. So basically, ML Letty's is on one corner, Mavericks is on the other, and right down from Mavericks is White Elephant Saloon, which is right next to the Love Shack Burger Bar. Um, Love Shack Burger Bar also has outdoor music, great burgers, um, and if you're in the mood for a phenomenal, I'm not, I'm, I must be hungry because I'm thinking about food. But if you head down to Tan Hills Tavern, um, it's the one that's outside the music hall. There's two there. So it's not the one where the hostess is there waiting to sit you. I'm talking about the one that's just a bar and like a lounge area. Um, go in there and order their dry aged double cheeseburger. You'll spend like 20 bucks. It is the most tender, oh, most amazing. I'm. Maybe I got to get into food reviews. I love food too much. But anyways, hope you all have a good day. Hope you all have a blessed day. God bless Texas. Uh, again, I'm Brian. It's Texas Country Music News, and welcome to Texas Country. <laughs>